Hello my tower friends, Justin Michael, welcome back to my channel, and of course welcome if it's your first time visiting, I appreciate you stopping by as always. Uh, so I want to do a walkthrough slash comparison of the Keymaster Tarot, uh, which was originally published by uh, Stockholm 17, which is a playing card company, I've ordered quite a few decks from them, I have um, the Arcana deck, which I've done a walkthrough of this deck, it's really a pretty playing card tarot mashup, and that's sort of what they are, I mean they're like a playing card company that prints a few tarot decks uh but really really pretty always very very nice quality um almost like designer quality you know very indie um and so they had another deck called the key master when i ordered the arcana deck i really really decided i liked that uh and then they came out with the key master i'm not sure if it was before or after but um initially when i saw the key master uh tarot deck I wasn't crazy about it because I just didn't like the majors for whatever reason. And it's just one of those decks that when you look at the digital art sort of on the computer or like online or through your, your smartphone, it doesn't quite capture the beauty of the deck. You know, it's something that when I saw in person and felt them and held them up close, that's when I really appreciated the deck. But so a really long time went by before I decided to get this. I've only gotten this about a month ago. Uh, initially, I just decided to get their playing card deck, which was a part of the same series, House of the Rising Spade. Uh, it is a really beautiful card. It's one of the like nicest uh, playing card decks that I have. The quality is really very nice. Everything is in gold. Um, just really, really beautiful. And you can you'll see the similar art style throughout the deck and what I really liked about this was it was for divination uh, which is what I got it for you know uh, and I liked the shape of the pips how they were different it was just you know it was a nice setup to something different that uh, I just really that really appealed to me at the time um, whereas I really liked the pips of the Keymaster, but I thought I kind of had my fill of like those mashup styles uh, at the time, so I just decided, like I said, just to get the playing card deck. Then, I had a change of heart, I don't know, about a month ago or so, uh, and I decided to get the Stockholm 17. I was watching Dustin from Modern Metaphysica, and he was talking about this new version that was coming out uh, by AGM. Now, I saw this on eBay, just sort of scrolling, like popped up or something, uh, and I was like, I wasn't sure if it was the same Keymaster. I hadn't heard anything uh, previously. And then Dustin confirmed that, yes, indeed, it was being published now through AGM. So I was like, okay, I have to get a copy by Stockholm 17. Because I thought to myself, this is probably a deck I'll end up owning. Uh, and if I'm going to get a copy of it, I want to get it in a really nice version. Because I, I knew Stockholm 17's version would be really, really classy. Uh, and it's going to be hard to beat. And I just assumed, even though AGM is a very well-respected card manufacturer, I just assumed that it wouldn't be the same quality because it would be in a different price range and so forth and a whole different demographic. Um, and then I got the deck. Okay, so well, I received this, and like I said, when I had it up close, I was totally blown away. The quality is so nice. It's so very matte and just a really nice quality um, playing card deck, and the colors just look great. It's really a pretty deck. But then I decided, well, I like this. And then I was scrolling around, and I wasn't 100% sure whether I was going to get the AGM version or not, because like I said, I wanted the Stockholm 17. But then I saw it, it had French titles uh, in one version. And I decided to get the French titles of this deck. And I'm really glad I did that, because for one, the box is really, really nice. It comes with a nice book, which is all, of course, in French, but you can get this uh, same version in English. You know, they have it in German, uh, English, and French, uh, from what I saw. Uh, and I don't know what it is about this deck, but it just looks so much nicer in French titles. And I assumed, even looking at the pictures online, it just looked like it was going to be different, you know. Uh, I've seen some other gold decks or decks with gold paint in it from AGM. Like, for instance, um, there's a, the Deck of Memories. Um, i trying to think of the name of it. I can't think of it right now. I'll put it down below, though. I'll put it down in the description box because I'll never remember it. But there's one deck that has gold paint, and it's just sort of like... I thought that it would be like that style, uh, but I was completely wrong. It's almost identical quality. Uh, now, I didn't really analyze these yet. We're going to like kind of look at them 
here today. But I do know there are a few cards that have been changed uh, or that are different. So if I do miss something, please point it out, put it down in the description box. Uh, you know, because I have a tendency to start talking and I'm not paying attention to the cards really. Um, but uh, I would love to hear from you also and what you think. The quality, like I said, is exactly the same. I mean, it's if it's not exactly the same, it's pretty damn close. And I paid about 30 bucks for this and like, I don't know, 40 something with uh, shipping from Stockholm 17. Um, and like I said, you can choose to get French titles if you like too. Now, the one thing I like about the French titles, um, that's not always the case when you get a deck in French, is that it's sort of in the Tarot de Marseille um, style. Like the, the, the names are very Tarot de Marseille. Not all of them, not 100%, but most of them are. For instance, the full is Le Mat, you know, and you'll see as we go through the deck. Um, and it's not always the case when you get a deck in French. Sometimes you don't even recognize the words because they it, because it'll say exactly what the you know the original deck says. But anyway, really beautiful deck. Let's take a look at it. Um, it's you know it's very modern, but it has a very classic look to it. You know. Lots of geometry all throughout the deck, shapes, uh, you know, you'll see circles and, um, you know, triangles and all different types of uh, geometry. And it, if you're into sacred geometry, this is probably going to be a really cool deck for you, you know. So there is our magician and like I said, Le Batillier. Okay, this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Uh, La Papess and the High Priestess. So also, I mean, if you love, if you're not a Rider Waite Smith fan, you don't like the word uh, High Priestess. If you get the French version, it's uh, La Papess, you know. So that's just really cool. Very beautiful artwork. I'm just trying to see if they're exactly the same. And like I said, if you see anything below, definitely uh, leave a comment. Looks pretty much the same. And here's our Emperor. Now, when I saw this, I thought it reminded me of Wizard of Oz for some reason. <laughs> I thought of Wizard of Oz. Uh, you know, the people that say, oh, we, oh, we, oh, her. You know. There's the all-seeing eye. And Lars also looks very similar. Or the same. And the chariot. So for the most part, it's an identical deck. Um, and I don't know, I'm kind of glad I have both versions, um, and you'll see there is, a, at least I know of at least one big difference, um, uh, that I'll point out to you, but I'm kind of glad I got both versions. This will probably be my collection piece, you know, because it's from Stockholm 17, and this will be my reader's deck. Because I like the French titles, and, you know, I can just buy a new one if I damage it. Really beautiful artwork. I gotta say, this is one of the nicest tarot decks I own. I'm very glad I came around to it. Because had I never held it in my hand, I probably wouldn't know. I wouldn't know about this deck, you know. Sometimes, like I said, you have to see it up close to really appreciate it. But and there's your hangman. Of course, it says Le Pendu, which is nice. A cat kind of known at the uh, ropes there uh, okay so this is kind of cool um, I, I sort of like this version uh, this has a regular title whereas this title is in black and it says Le Mort but the art looks very close or uh, you know probably identical And here is Temperance, which is also looking pretty, pretty close. Le Diable. Oh, 
Okay. Now, here we are. The tower. This is really different. I mean, if you look at this tower versus that tower, I mean, it's a totally different tower. So I wonder why they decided to change it. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I kind of like this tower, you know. But it is kind of nice in that you at least know the difference between one deck or the other, you know. Make it sort of a collector's item. Uh, because now I think they're probably pretty close to being sold out over at Stockholm 17. But, um, and of course, it doesn't have Les Maisons. They do or whatever. It, it has in Tower de Marseille. Um, except that uh, title would probably be too long, you know. It's just the Tower. La Tour. But, uh, anywho, that's the only card that I noticed. Uh, and of course, it, like I said, if you see something, please point it out. Because a lot of times, even if I rewatch this, I will, uh, like when I'm editing it, I'll notice things I didn't notice uh, the first time through. And we have the sun. Oh, I was going to say the face looked a little bit different, but it doesn't. I think it's pretty much the same. Um, judgment. And the world, very beautiful. Wow. Yeah, I'm really, really sold on this, and I particularly like the French uh, version. The pips are very playing card-ish, you know. But you do have, you know, the Tower de Marseille kind of shapes in there. Uh, you know, the, the sword shapes, for instance, are kind of faint and uh, stamped in gold there, you know. So if you are a Tower de Marseille fan, you might like this deck, you know. It's very, very modern kind of Marseille mashup, you know. And I've come to really like these, um, these decks. But anyway, we're going to go through them pretty quickly. Oh. Okay, let's look at the core cards. Jack of Spades, Valet de, de P. Really pretty. I wonder why they changed the tower. I'd like to know more about that. Um, really pretty core cards. And a different shade of red. And this is more like blood red or burgundy, you know, whereas this is just kind of red. Or maybe this is blood red and this is burgundy, I don't know. Different shades of red, though. I kind of like both. I don't know, if I had to pick, I'd probably go with the original. But that could just be also printing as well. I mean, anytime you print a deck with a different printer, um, or even a different batch, sometimes you'll get a different result. And people who print their own stuff know that, you know. Anyway. Beautiful cards. I mean, look at that. Look how pretty that is. That's such a cool deck. Okay. And ten. Okay, here we are with the court cards in the diamond suit. Okay, love that. That looks so nice. I'm so impressed with this deck. I can't believe it took me this long to get it. I've I've heard so many told you so's from people uh, because you know everybody was ranting and raving about this deck, especially like all my Tarot of Marseille people. Um, and I just didn't get it at the time. I just. I'm glad I got it now, and I have two copies, one in English and one in French. <laughs> why? Because I'm a sick man, that's why. Now, I figure this one will be a collector's item, you know. Um, and I only got this because it was literally $30, I think. And I thought, okay, just to have it in French, it's going to make it, like, a totally different... It's going to give the deck a different feel, 
if it's in French for me personally um, because it is somewhat Tarot de Marseille-ish, you know? So it, it was very much worth it. But, uh, anywho. And, of course, there's keys all throughout the deck, and hence the term Keymaster. Okay, we're going to come up on the last set of court cards. Oop. Throwing cards around over here. Okay. Just a... Very, very pretty. Yeah, as far as I can tell, the tower was the only card that was different. And then, of course, the uh, tones of red. Uh, I'm sure there's probably other things uh, that are in there that I may not have noticed. Uh, and, of course, I'd be happy to hear from you uh, down below. But anyway, let me know what you think. Um, I have uh, a few things coming up. Uh, probably my next Titans of Terror is going to be Camellia Elias. That's on April 14th, I believe, which is a Thursday. Uh, it's in the evening. I will um, post details about that uh, down below. And um, I do have some more walkthroughs coming up. But anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by, as always. And uh, until next time, everyone, love and peace. Bye-bye.